that the weather is so severe that it's a risk to safety, what? though. Per people having a great time here. It's so well, that's CBC reporter Megan Batchelor getting an unwanted kiss. She was reporting live from the Squamish Valley Music Festival in British Columbia on Friday. Batchelor says the physical contact was unwelcomed and she filed a police report to try and stem what's become a disturbing trend of female reporters being harassed on live TV. Well, we can now tell you that the 17-year-old who kissed Megan has apologized to her. The CBC's Megan Batchelor joins us now with the latest on this one. Megan, uh, hello to you. Uh, tell us more about the apology and how you're feeling today. Well, you know, it's been uh, a pretty hectic weekend after all of this happened and went online. Um, this morning, though, the, uh, the boy who claimed to have done this reached out to me on Twitter. Um, I gave him a call and he, the words that he was saying was exactly what I wanted to hear. He just said, you know, I am completely embarrassed. I wish that I had taken a, th a second just to think. He said, as soon as I put myself in your shoes, I immediately understood this is your profession. This is something that you take seriously. And I, I compromised that just for the sake of getting a laugh. And so what he was saying made me feel a lot better and it made me feel like perhaps this isn't an overreaction, which is what I've been accused of online, and perhaps this is the right thing. And and he just, yeah, he just, he really set my mind at ease, and I just, I feel like he's understanding, and that's that's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. uh, what was going on in your head, though? Because as you say, people have debated the severity or lack of severity of what took place. What was going through your head the moment that boy kissed you? Well, honestly, it was a matter of, okay, you're doing your job, you just need to put aside what's just happened, which I don't even know if, what it was, and just keep talking and finishing up your thought. And once the camera's off, then we can kind of deal with this and think about it. But it was definitely just get to work and deal with that later. Because honestly, from my perspective, it just it just came out of nowhere. He, he ran right behind me. It was this instantaneous moment. And as soon as, as quickly as he came, he left. So I didn't even have a chance to go, wait, what just happened? Uh, yeah, it was just a matter of just get the job done. Mm -hmm. And to the people who say this really wasn't a big deal, what's your reaction to that? You know, I really, ultimately, I just want people to think, okay, in my daily job, am I serving coffee? Am I a teacher? Uh, am I a police officer? Do I want someone running up to me in a moment where you're fo so focused on what you're doing that you can't even process what's happening? Do you want someone running up to you and giving you a kiss on the cheek, giving you a smack in the face, yelling at you? It's just not okay, regardless of the fact that there's a camera in front of me. Doing that and going into someone's space is not an all right thing to do. It's just basic human behavior and somewhere along the way this has become okay and way too many of my colleagues are getting affected by this. And you're comforted by the fact that this appears to have been a teachable moment for that 17 year old? Yeah, I think so. I mean, in, in chatting with him, he seems to be apologetic and embarrassed, quite frankly. And so I'm really hoping that this will then go on to other people and they'll take that second to think. And, you know, Megan, we're running out of time, but I have to ask, you did file a police complaint. Where does that now stand? I did file a com police, police complaint uh, just to let it be known that I'm not going to tolerate this kind of behavior. This isn't okay. Um, as far as criminal charges go, I really don't see myself pursuing them against this kid. Uh, he is very apologetic, and I, I really just hope that this gets the conversation going and hopefully leads to this stopping. Well, Megan, thank you very much for chatting with us. That is the CBC's Megan Batchelor in Vancouver. And tonight, Megan will appear once again live on As It Happens along with the teenager who kissed her. You can hear both of them tonight on CBC Radio live at 6.30 p.m. Eastern.